William Blake once said, The eagle never lost so much time as when he submitted to learn from the crow. In a minute, you will see what I mean. So in today's lesson, we're going to discuss the following. How to lead with the edge of your racket, also referred to as leveling your swing out. And then lastly, how and when it's okay to actually swing on your volleys. Or you could just hit it. Real hard like these guys. Hey, we're not trying to floss nobody. There's a lot more work involved than just hit it. You got to get your timing down, your stance, your center of gravity lined up. There's a lot to blast in that ball than just hit it. That ball just broke the pain barrier. It's open season on tennis balls. Can you say ka, ra, t? Professionals and non-professionals need to up their game. And there's medical reasons for doing so. The most common tennis injuries tend to be shoulder and knee. Bending, extending, twisting, turning, all while supporting the entire weight of the body. This is what makes the knee so vulnerable to athletic injury, especially when that knee belongs to Rafael Nadal. In setting up for his backhand, his left heel strikes the ground, causing a brief hyperextension of the knee and then an immediate bending. Real black belts don't go swinging punches, locking their knees and falling over themselves. To maintain balance, the anterior cruciate ligament and the medial meniscus strain to stabilize the joint. If you don't want to get hurt, bend your knees, keep your back straight. Here on one leg, his left knee is bearing a load that could exceed a thousand pounds. Keep the hip tucked tight. Don't spin like you're a roulette wheel. With the quadriceps muscle working to keep the knee joint stable, the patellar tendon is carrying that load from the muscle and pressing on the fat pad, an area of pain for Nadal. The majority of people I see with sports-related injuries is from poor technique. Let me tell you, Agassi is a great player, but the problem So to make your backhand a shot that your opponent is going to fear or have to worry about, there's one thing you always got to keep in mind. If I can turn on a ball and get my right foot around, I must do that. Here is worst offender. How you say uh, agassi is not real tennis, okay? Look how he twists his knee. Is not okay. Okay. This fellow you see here. Yes. This is the right idea for playing tennis. Radical new tennis. Somebody gets all up in your Kool-Aid, dog, and you're a martial artist. You go with bent knees, with your back straight, and they're whipping home to their mama. Man, you can't unleash the fury 
this traditional tennis. I almost broke my knee on the first two popping stroke. To do it fly, I bend my knees. I take it straight and I bust a snap on that ball. In slow-mo, you see that ball jack across the court before I pop the stroke back. You see how fast that ball revved off my racket? Man, that ball just pushed the panic button. Yellow fuzz ball just left skid marks on the net. You try to mime a spin top back swing and you'll end up in a sling. You tweak the turn and your knees will burn. If you turn too tight, you twist your wrist. Your knees will be served to you on a dish. Pick up for table 26. Do it right. Check it. Turn at the waist. Keep those knees bent. Don't throw out that hip. Stay to the side of the ball and hit it straight down the line. Clip the ball with a clean slice. Two-handed works too, just like a hammer fist. Mirror the moves and you'll improve. This is what I call my worm burner. It just makes it over the net. And if there's any vermin on the court, they go sliding into a wormhole. Let me show you, teacher, whose tennis technique stinks like Dostomovic. A type of fish. What happens is if you back up and you're completely sideways, you're backing up and you're sideways, yeah. it's going to be very hard to rotate, okay? Yeah. And you're going to be forced to hit the ball sideways like this. And then you fall backwards like this. What is this guy? Leaning tower of pizza? That's not okay. Okay? And then it feels terrible. But even that's an extreme case. You could even be a little bit more trying to rotate and kind of have your feet locked and this is going to feel terrible too. But wait, some tennis teachers say you will fall backwards and feel terrible if you hit the ball sideways. This is nonsense. I want to introduce you to a new way to jump ship and play radical tennis. Please note, there is no need for him to spin like a top. Nothing is coming into my head, except this next player is playing like he has no head. See for yourself. Whole body goes there, yes, again, come on. Good, again, whole body goes there, good. Whole body goes there, come on, again. Good, again, down the line. Come on, down the line. Whole body goes there, come on, again, go. One more, come. Much better. These tennis instructors are not ambidextrous, so to develop both sides, they created and used a special tool in order to teach proper technique. They will show you the result of four weeks worth of training their non-dominant left side practice using a live tennis ball. Did you notice, they are using an ambidextrous training protocol, non-dominant and dominant hand tennis. Notice, he does not have to spin like a drunk ballerina. Instead, he switches from left hand to right hand.
Notice that he does not try to outrun the ball or make a hard stop to hit the ball. This way, he saves his knees. Okay, for you to see, Andy Murray is perfect example of what not to do. Okay? Well, Murray's on it flat on his back. And this uh, doesn't look too good. Looks to be in some sort of pain. In fact, a lot of pain. Well, we think that it's just cramp. Hudson uh, holding up Murray's leg, just stretching it. For a martial artist, balance, even when running, is of the utmost importance. What would Borat say? Wawa wiwa! Do whatever is clever, and take a loss never. That ball's barreling. Did you see that slice and dice? People are still looking for that ball on the moon. Uncle Bounce does it again. Can you imagine what that ball's stomach feels like? That ball got sliced like a green pepper. What would Ali G say? Booyakasha! Unless I miss my guess, that ball just failed the test. Mr. Badface didn't like that drop shot. There's only one ball left in the bin. And it's afraid to come out. Look for that ball in the garbage, cause it was collateral carnage. That bacon sure sizzles. Those who come to oppose they quickly dispose. What would Bruno say about that shot? Get over it! We're gonna do these curtains and we're gonna change this desk and we're gonna make the carpet so much better! He cuts like Edward Scissorhands. You can scope, and hope to cope, but nope. To see that ball, 
You need a telescope. Someone, please give that ball a tombstone. What an eye poppin' slam! That ball is gonna need a chalk outline. Here's former world number one, Andre Agassi. He got bulging discs in his back, forcing him to retire from tennis. When he hits the ball, he stretches too far past where he can hit the ball comfortably. His heels leave the ground and he overstretches, causing him to lose his balance. He stumbles to get his balance after hitting the ball. Starting from a bent over position, he puts a strain on his lower back. He jumps in the air to hit the ball, risking an injury. If I did like Agassi, I'd be in agony. So your need do protect, cause mine is well kept. But now I will prove, injuries I exclude. My hits are smooth, my rhymes will soothe. I play it pro, see? Cause I'm the S, the M, to the double O, T, to the H, C. I'm smooth and legit. I throw the ball up and nail it. You see the ball go in. I don't have to jump up high to bring the ball low. It's the timing that matters. If you hit the ball at the right timing, you'll be physically rhyming. Check out the cross court. This guy here, he don't even move. Look at his feet. He's like the Statue of Liberty, torching that ball throws it up in the air and BAM! There it goes! Gone! Try to swing on that! Having watched these two gentlemen play tennis for several months, I am convinced their program will revolutionize tennis as it is played today. I am sure you will agree. Just give them a chance. You won't find them on the ATP circuit. They are researchers in biomechanics and movement. They produced this video to help the tennis community avoid injuries and improve the game of tennis. The number four journalist in Kazakh TV loves traditional tennis. Not so much.